even as most teachers refused to report back to work, citing insecurity in Garissa, one teacher has decided to stick with his students. Wangi Masharia has decided to single-handedly teach all 196 students from class 1 to class 4 at the Nadira Primary School by grouping them in one classroom. Fatma Pole visited the county and now tells his story and the plight of the children from pastoralist communities in northern Kenya. Nadir Primary School in Kamu, the location. 30-year-old Mwangi Masharia proudly carries the weight of this school on his shoulders. But to be able to survive, Mwangi had to be creative. Desperate times, he says, call for desperate measures. So I, I, I do a multi-grid teaching. All of the, the, the classes are under one room, from class one to class four. I put them together, I offer them what I can. And when it's time for class, all students converge in one classroom. From afar, this looks like an ordinary classroom, but for these children, normal has always been far from normal. Right now, a mathematics class is in session. We have really come uh, a long way. When I was coming, reporting, my first reporting, seven years back, we were very low. You could find a village whereby nobody could speak Swahili. Like the former school I was, I went there and uh, a whole division I was only the only person who could speak English and Kiswahili. But now currently our children are speaking Kiswahili, they are speaking English. It's, it's a great improvement actually. But it's not just the teachers who are affected. Mahad here, a student with hearing impairment, was attending a special school for the deaf in Garissa town, but had to come back home after the attack in Garissa University. With an ailing father at home, he finds peace in this classroom. I really get exhausted because I've been in class from 8 up to 4 in the evening. Determined to get an education, even if it means having to compete with those very different from him. But Mahad is not alone here. Yusuf, his deskmate, is completely deaf, which means that as Mwangi goes about his duties, he has to make sure the two are not left out. Mwangi has a mission to ensure the child in northern Kenya gets education, even if it means making a few sacrifices on the way. He go back home with very little knowledge. Out of the nine lessons that you are put to have a day, they may only go home after getting two or three, which I can manage. The children are fully aware of everything that is going on around them. Young Dil here dreams of being a teacher when he grows up. <laughs> it will have been easy for Mwangi to exit the county like the rest, but he has chosen to fight. Fight for the sake of the child who, just like others across the country, is thirsty for education. A child, he says, though underprivileged, has a lot of potential. A Somali child is a very, 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 very able, very talented child. But in Garissa town, a shocking realization. Education officials are trying to piece up the puzzle of why it is only the education sector that seems to be affected. Others who are around, some uh, using the border border and uh, doing their own business, some of them running shops, so that uh, they use the reason of insecurity to run away from the schools, but uh, still they are in Gariza, which is considered to be insecure. Really disadvantaged in a number of ways, are now more disadvantaged. You very well understand, or you could basically be reading through the media, that uh, a pastoralist child has challenges in terms of accessing quality education, unlike the other children from the other parts of the country. Back in Nadir Primary School, Mwangi Masharia is still teaching, unbothered and unbowed. As long as his students have a smile on their faces, he says he has achieved his purpose. 1 to 196, as unbelievable as that may sound, but that is the ratio of teachers to students in the only school in Fafi location, which means that if Mwangi was to live today, the hopes and dreams of a whole location will be shattered. Fatma Pole, KTN, Fafi location in Garissa County.